How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at formatting dates in JavaScript. Now this here is going to be using one of the most popular and easy to use JavaScript libraries called date functions or date FNS. If you haven't used this library before, trust me, you're going to want to learn about it because this here uh, allows you to work with dates, not just in formatting, but also uh, for comparisons and manipulation, etc. So yeah, we're going to be using this library right here. It's going to be linked down below. So the first step is going to be to install this library on your web page. Now there are a couple of options for doing so. If you go to the documentation section, you're going to find the installation tab uh, right down here. There it is, installation. And you can of course use npm to install. You can just do npm install date fns. Um, you can also use uh, js deliver or any other CDN if you like. I'll be leaving this linked down below as well if you wanna go down this route. I'm gonna be using this option here for simplicity. So I'm just simply going to copy this script tag and by the way, you can also um, use ESM modules if you want, but if using standard JavaScript, copy this HTML, go back inside your HTML file and then paste it, um, of course, before your JavaScript entry file. Now again, there are different ways to go about doing this. I've got a whole video dedicated to the best way to import and use JavaScript libraries and things like that and uh, script files. But anyway, that's besides the point. This here is all you need to do to install the package on your website. So now we can begin to use it. So how do we format a date using date FNS? Well, going inside the JavaScript file, the first thing we need is a date to actually format. So let's create a new constant. It's gonna hold the current date. So we're gonna say const now equal to a new instance of a date object because date functions, the library, um, that library, only deals with native JavaScript dates, which is actually quite a good benefit of the library itself. So we've got this native JavaScript date object. I'm sure you might have a similar uh, object in your own application if you're trying to extend upon it and format dates. If not, you're gonna need to find a way to create one. You can use the parse function as part of date FNS but uh, you need to figure that one out, how to actually make a date. So I've got this date right here. How do we format the date? Well, very straightforward. We're gonna say const formatted equal to, then say date FNS, okay, dot, gonna be using the format function. Now, the syntax here is gonna be a little bit different if you are using uh, you know, NPM uh, as a package, you may need to just simply call uh, format from uh, the library once it's being imported using modules. But um, if you're using the option that I showed earlier where you import on the JavaScript file, then date FNS dot format, okay? Now, inside here, you're gonna pass in the date to format. And then as a second argument, you're gonna pass through the mask. So the mask is what the formatted string should look like, okay? Do you want to include the current day? the year, the month, do you wanna include the hours, right? The, the minutes, the seconds, that is what the mask does. So let's do a typical example. Let's format with your day, month and year and then your time part. So I'm in Australia, uh, so I'm gonna use day first. So I'm gonna say D, D so lowercase d, uh, twice, then forward slash, uppercase M twice, then forward slash, uh, four Y's, Y, 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 there we go. Then put a space, then lowercase H, H, colon, lowercase M, M, space, and then A, A. Okay, this just means, look, I want to grab this date object, the current date time. I want to display the day first, then a forward slash, the month, then the year, then the current hour, the current minutes, then the AM or PM. Okay, let's console.log the formatted date. I'll save this, go back inside here in the browser. I'll refresh in the console, we get this here. Okay, the 10th of the 10th, 2024 at 10.02 p.m. Okay, so this is your formatted date. Now, what if you wanted to use 24 hour time? Okay, in that case, you could just say, Instead of HH, you can say KKMM and omit the AM or PM. Get rid of this, save it, refresh, and now we get the 24 hour time, 22 
uh, colon O3. Now, I know some of you probably use this all the time. Like I said, I'm from Australia, so I'm used to seeing AM and PM. Um, now, where did I get all of these tokens from? All these Ds and Ms and Ys, that comes from the library itself. So if you go into the documentation once again and you and do a search for the format function, okay, we called this function right here, of course, just before, okay? Now, this is where you get a table of all the tokens. So you can see here, the left side tells you your unit, okay, what do you want to format? I have chosen, of course, in the first place, uh, two lowercase d's. If I was to scroll down and find that, uh, that combination, there we go two lowercase d's, day of month, okay? Then we get the format in 0102. If you were to provide just a single d, okay, you get the leading zero omitted for single digit days, okay? Providing do gives you your first, second with that uh, suffix at the end of it or whatever you call it, I'm not sure what it's called. And you get the point, right? So these are just your tokens, which if you provide them, it's gonna insert that particular part of the date as that value inside that position, okay? Now, so I'm gonna scroll down a bit more, I wanna show you a bit of the AM and PM stuff, there we go, so of course, double A is AM and PM, like I said, or like I showed you earlier. Um, we have your hours, quite a few options there, so you got your lowercase hh, very common, of course, um, for your twenty for your 12 hour time. Um, then you have your 24 hour time down here, lowercase k, k. And yeah, so have a play with all of this here and find the mask which suits your own scenario. Of course, just a real quick in case it wasn't obvious, if you wanted to get rid of the date part completely, you simply just get rid of that other section, save it and refresh, and of course now it won't show the, uh, the time part. Now, what about something a little bit more complex? Let's say I want to say, okay, it's currently Thursday, the 10th, of October, so a string with things like, you know, uh, the and of inside of it. How do we go about doing that? Well, let's go back inside VS Code here, and we're gonna be, of course, changing the mask to say, yeah, day of the week, of, day of the month, and then the month itself. So, I want to find a mask for the day of the week, okay? Going back inside here, uh, let's scroll down until we find that, so day of the week formatting. We get four capital E's, I'll copy this, we get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. So I copy these four E's, go back in here, we're gonna say uh, day of the week, okay? So for example, Thursday, the, then I'll say, okay, I want the day of the month, but I want the, uh, the, the suffix at the end of it. So I want the D-O to get the, you know, first and second, etc. So I'll put that in there. So Thursday, the 10th, okay? Then I'll say of, then of course, the day of the month, or sorry, the actual month itself. So uh, up here, month formatting, and we get January, February, etc. I want four capital M's, save this, sorry, uh, copy that, paste it back in here. So we have this mask, Thursday, the 10th of October. I'll save this, refresh the browser, what do we get? An error, okay? You'll find you might get an error, or you'll get unexpected uh, output sometimes when doing things like this, when it gets more complex, okay? That's because you need to escape what you don't want to be translated. Because looking at this here, what if the T and the H and the E, what if these characters actually mapped to something, just like the D and the O does? What if you have the word does in your string? You don't want this D and the O to be picked up as being second or third or fourth, whatever it is you actually want the, the word does, okay? So in this case, for the and of, I want that to stay the same, okay? I don't want to try and translate these characters. So wrap your plain text inside single quotes like this. This is called escaping, okay? So now we're saying, look, of course, Thursday the 10th of October, but we've kept these in double quotes, sorry, single quotes, so now I'll try again, and it works. It hasn't attempted to translate those as being masks, okay? And that's a way around doing that. Now, real quick, I wanna highlight something as well. Um, if you want to do time zone offsets, so scroll down a bit more, 
these are your time zone options. Uh, a common one might be to just include the uh, the GMT offset. So you might do your O's or your Z's, etc. Um, and you've also got an option for formatting in ISO 8601 or just simply ISO. And this here is useful for sending data to APIs and things like that, where you need to have a standard date format in which all APIs and all languages can understand, regardless of the location, etc. So this is actually really easy to do in date FNS. You simply call the format ISO function. Let's go back in here and we're gonna say formatted and we're gonna do here date FNS dot format ISO. Then pass in now, once again, I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh, and now we get the ISO 8601 timestamp uh, for that value there. And you have got options here as well, you can omit certain parts. So what you can do is you can say here is a second argument passing through an object like this, okay? And you can say representation, and you can say for example, date, this here is only gonna output the date portion. Save this and refresh, and we get that right there. This might come in handy for when you're sending API requests for a search page and you wanna say, okay, between this date and this date, you wanna exclude the time part just in case you have things like uh, running early in the morning, you wanna pick them up and you know, et cetera. Uh, I won't go into that, but the point is, yeah, you can, you can format ISO like that. You can even say, for example, time only, and it's gonna do the same thing, of course, this time, giving you only the time part, okay? And that is how to format dates and times in JavaScript using the date FNS library. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode, and here is another video.